Hi my beautiful Geminis, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your love reading and we're gonna see what you don't see coming uh, in that energy. Okay, we already got a card popping out here. There will be an extended reading link below in the description box. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I will look at the next four weeks energy moving forward and I'll dive deeper into whoever you are connecting with. All right, your cards are already dropping out here. So uh, let's start here since we already have uh, some cards here. Okay, so we got regret here. Okay, somebody in your situation is feeling like they made a wrong decision or they made a wrong choice. So definitely get that there is somebody who is thinking about you. It could be also somebody feeling guilty. Let's see here. Oh, wow. Picking up twin flame energy. Okay, so, you know, this could talk about yin and the yang. Somebody may be making a decision or a choice. And it feels like, too, with this energy that there was something here out of balance between you and this person. Okay, some of you may identify or resonate that like this person is your kind of polar opposite. So take it how it resonates. I do see here you have, uh, this is called the backstabbing energy, but it just talks about heartbreak and pain, separation. It could also be deceptive energy. So definitely feels like there is somebody who feels guilty. Okay, the person you're dealing with feels guilty. They cause some sort of hurt or some sort of pain as the energy I'm picking up here. And you also have here uh, the blowing kiss. Okay, this talks about uh, unconditional love, giving and receiving and affection returned. I feel like there's definitely a situation here where somebody that you are dealing with, I feel like you may have given a lot to this person, Gemini, but I feel like this person, like no matter how much you gave, this person hurt you is really the energy I'm picking up. So I'm gonna pull a Kipper card and see what else comes through and then we'll pull your tarot. So. Definitely feel like there could be something happening here. Okay, adjudication. Yeah, see what you're not expecting here? This is judgment energy. So something's going to happen. Okay, this is a revisit. Somebody wanting to revisit here who feels guilty. I'm just going to say you do have courtship on the bottom of the deck. So this feels like somebody who is going to try and ask you out on a date okay and i just want to be clear here everybody's level of their situation is different you know somebody may have been deceptive somebody may have been lied but it could just be somebody is being distant okay so take it how it resonates this could be somebody where you and this person had some sort of conflict okay so every le a person's level is different i just want to make that clear because i know some people will put in the comments you know this person's toxic yada yada but not everybody's person is toxic okay i feel like this person uh they're going to contact you is what i'm really getting there it looks like you know this person's going to want to meet up with you that's something there that you don't see coming Let's see what you got here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Another confirmation. Judgment again. See, this is also the judgment right there with regret is telling me that this is somebody who's really thinking about the past. That cross there talks about healing. So somebody wanting to heal a situation from the past. You do have uh, the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Look at that and your energy. See, I feel like this is someone they have feelings for you, but this is someone who rarely shows it is what I'm really getting there. So let's keep going. What does Gemini don't see coming here in this situation? Even though some of you, this may be somebody like you feel like opposites attract, but it's also two people who complement each other. Now, you do have uh, the Knight of Wands. See, that pers this person wants to return. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yep, death, rebirth card, strong Scorpio energy. 
Yep, Nine of Cups. See, they want to change things here. Transformation here. Some of you, this is a twin flame. Definitely a twin flame energy here. Backstabbing, you know, the heartbreak energy. There was an ending. This is someone you had an ending with. They want a new beginning here with you. They want the romantic opportunity. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. We're going to um, pull your cards. Oh my gosh. We're going to pull your cards. We're going to clarify. I'm going to see how you see this person, how they see you, and then we'll go from there. you got the Two of Cups. See, there is love here. This person is thinking about you and they're thinking about how they feel about you. Look at this confirmation on the bottom of the deck. Seven of Pentacles. This is someone feels that they have time invested in you. They're reflecting. They're pausing. They're regretting uh, the past. You, some of you may have already been in a relationship with this person, but this could also be somebody who, who realizes that, yes, you, were, you are the perfect partner here that the two of you do complement each other. Let's see what else comes through. Yeah, see? Knight of Wands, and now you have here the Ace of Swords. So this is, this is also a communication card. It also tells me this is somebody who wants to communicate, having some epiphanies, some realizations about how they do feel about you strong sagittarius on the bottom of the deck this is also a union card okay also a twin flame card so for me it is but anyway so i feel like somebody this is someone coming back around i feel somebody it could be someone who gave you mixed signals was hot and cold let's see what else comes through yeah, the strength card, strong Leo energy. Some of you, it's you are dealing with a Leo because you've got sun card here on the bottom of the deck. See, the strength card here is somebody who is finding that inner strength to change things here, have a rebirth, a new beginning with you, wanting happiness here. I also see the sun card as friendship, like strong friendship. So this person may miss the friendship the two of you have together. I'm going to clarify some of these energy, get some more details. But what else does Gemini need to, to know? What do they not see coming? Yep, see? Three of Cups, a union here. Knight of Cups, Three of Cups. That courtship too tells me that this is somebody I feel who is going to want union with you. They want union Look at this, bottom of the deck here, you do have the Eight of Pentacles. See, this is someone who wants to put the work in here with the Eight of Pentacles. We saw the Seven of Pentacles. They've had some time to really think about things. The energy here, I have to say, Gemini is very, very strong. Let's clarify. I saw the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck could tell me there's some people around this situation maybe that interfered uh, just can be an internal struggle but tell me more about this knight of wands tell me more about this knight of wands okay yeah false person i feel like this is somebody who couldn't really show you their true selves uh, somebody who, you know, that you see the mask in the background, somebody who didn't open up to you. And I'm just going to say it could be somebody who kept something from you. They could have lied. That could be the heartbreak here. Everybody's falseness is going to be different. But this is someone I feel they didn't share a whole lot with you. Okay. Or they hid something. Okay. Take it how it resonates. What else can you tell me about this Knight of Wands? Okay, main person. See, they're coming back around. It's not about male or female. It's about the energy. I feel like this is somebody you felt was important to you, but they feel the same way, but they didn't let you see it. You do have courthouse on the bottom of the deck. This is justice energy, strong uh, Libra energy. So this is someone, they're coming around. They want to make things right. You know, I'm really feeling with the Ace of Swords, very intentional you know, about having a fresh start here, having epiphanies, having realizations. We will see and extended what their intentions are. So let's go to the death rebirth card. Tell me more about the death rebirth card. 
Okay, so we got concern. Oh, interesting. And you also have here a message. So you're going to get a message from this person. And I feel like you're going to be a bit hesitant, right? You should be a bit hesitant. You should be concerned. Because with this heartbreak, right, this is someone who hurt you in some sort of way. So this strength card can also talk about forgiveness. So this could also be somebody who is coming towards you wanting forgiveness. We saw the uh, temperance earlier and I feel like some time has passed with you and this person. So I do get this energy that this person too with the strength card, this could be somebody who's held back from coming towards you because of ego, because of pride. Um, you know, I'm not really seeing in the cards apology energy, but I almost feel like this could be, well, I do see the Knight of Cups at times as apology energy, but I feel like this is someone who, I feel like you may even get an apology. Now, it's not going to be everybody. You do have the child here on the bottom of the deck, and you do have thoughts here, okay? So I feel like this person is definitely thinking about you. There's something very comforting is what I get here. Something very comforting about your energy at, that they love. And I feel like that's, you know, we go back to the blowing, the kiss energy. I feel like they feel like you gave them unconditional love. And this person can't stop thinking about you. You're on this person's mind. And I feel like, you know, that's part of the regret there. I'm going to clarify this Three of Cups and then we'll see how they're seeing you and how you see them. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Official person and poverty. See, again, yeah, despair again here too. That's the same energy. That's the regret energy. See, they want union with you. They want reconciliation. I, you know what I really get here because it's right here with the blowing the kiss energy. If you watch my channel, you know I read all the cards in relation to where they're placed. I feel like this is someone who's not feeling important. Like you, there's, you must have, you know, detached or stopped giving to the situation and they're not feeling important anymore. They don't feel like they matter anymore to you, okay? And I feel that's what you don't see coming here is that this person's coming around. They're going to try and meet up with you uh, because I do feel like they miss your energy here, okay? Because you got unconditional love here. You have giving and receiving, fairness and love and affection returned, okay? This is someone I feel who didn't return the love that you gave because they were they had the mask on. They weren't being their true real self with you. They were hiding, I feel like too with the strength, they were hiding behind their ego and their fear. Okay, so look at this. I didn't even have a chance to say anything yet. And the uh, um the lightning strikes. This is epiphany energy. So this person's having an epiphany about you right now. And it's also an energy of uh I'm just going to say like throwing their old ways out and bringing in a fresh start. So something didn't work in the past because this person, you know, they didn't want to change or they had, um, you know, old patterns, old beliefs that weren't working. Okay. They're outdated. Okay. They could have been learned uh, patterns or beliefs. So let's see. Uh, how do you see this person right now? Okay, yeah, see, love blocks. You feel like this person was not honest or they were secretive or they just had this barrier, like I said, somebody false, this barrier. They weren't their true self with them. So I feel like this really caused some trust issues. Uh, you know, you're feeling like you, you don't know if you can trust this person. How is this person seeing Gemini? How is this person seeing Gemini? Okay. They, they see you got your defenses up here. You have uh, prickly. Prickly talks about also uh, being hurt, you know, ha being guarded, protecting yourself, which we do see the hurt there. So they do see you in protective mode. Uh, mutual energy here is secret desires. Interesting. So I feel like both of you 
both of you secretly desire each other here, okay? But there's some unspoken words here. And I feel like this is also a talk energy. So it does show me here, there's an energy here of you and this person needing to have a conversation because you do have unlocked the gate which tells me that in order for there to be a new beginning, there needs to be a conversation here. But like I said, I feel like this person, there's judgment. This is somebody who is, I feel, going to want to rekindle this. And I see, um, I see communication here connecting with you. And they're going to ask to meet up with you is what I'm really sensing here. So uh, with that... Uh, Gemini, I'm going to take it to the extended link is in the description box and in the comments. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.